Have you ever wondered why children bear striking resemblances to their parents? Or why some traits seem to skip a generation, only to reappear in the next? These intriguing questions lie at the heart of genetics and inheritance, a fascinating world where traits are passed down from parents to offspring. To understand this complex process, it's essential to delve into the concept of monohybrid cross, a term that might sound complicated, but is actually quite simple. Monohybrid cross refers to a breeding experiment between two organisms that are identically hybrid for one trait. Now imagine two plants, one with purple flowers and the other with white. These two plants are crossed or bred with each other. The resulting offspring are what we call a monohybrid cross. This concept was first introduced by Gregor Mendel, an Austrian monk and scientist who is now affectionately known as the father of genetics. He carried out a series of experiments with pea plants in his monastery garden, providing the foundation for our understanding of inheritance. In Mendel's monohybrid cross, he crossed pea plants that were purebred for contrasting traits, such as tall and short. The first generation of offspring, or the F1 generation, were all tall. This was a surprising result. It raised the question, where did the short trait disappear to? Well, it didn't disappear. When Mendel crossed the tall F1 plants with each other, the F2 generation or second generation consisted of three tall plants for every short one. This three, one ratio became a fundamental principle in the study of genetics. Mendel concluded from his monohybrid cross experiments that each organism has two alleles for each trait, one from each parent. These alleles can be the same, as in purebred plants, or different, as in hybrids. The trait observed in the organism, such as tall or short, is determined by the dominant allele. However, the presence of a dominant allele doesn't erase the recessive one. As Mendel's experiments showed, the recessive trait can reappear in subsequent generations. This principle of dominance and recessiveness is a key point in Mendel's monohybrid cross. Mendel's work with monohybrid crosses laid the foundation for modern genetics. It gave us a simple yet powerful model to understand how traits are passed from parents to offspring and why some traits seem to skip a generation. It's a fascinating glimpse into the intricate dance of life, where every trait, every feature is a testament to the legacy of those who came before us.